So today is the 75th anniversary of VE Day. It's the day that victory was declared in the European theatre in World War II. Um, obviously, VJ Day is still yet to come. Um, but in part of the celebrations, the Imperial War Museum has released a poem by Edmund Blunden, which has not previously been released to the public. So without further ado, here is V Day by Edmund Blunden. Now the great vision which we dared believe through slow and savage years is all our own. That summit which we willed we now achieve, and certainty deposes the unknown. Through dragon's country midnight black we went, where one Apollyon had as much in mind, and set whatever deaths he could invent above, beneath, about. That lies behind. A widening wonder glitters on our view, that tyrannies overpassed, once more we have come through. Immense the scene, the drama measureless, which after comers with astonished eyes will long survey and struggle to express. The problem huge, the countering enterprise, when time makes plain the action in all parts, discloses things in crisis as yet hid. Then will the world with eloquence of arts forever crown what these free spirits did. We may not voice them yet, the dawn's still now, but we live triumph now no artist ever drew. To trace the roads which led to this hour, history shall be proud and honour fill. Our halls with colours, let these bright works flower in their due season. We are mindful still of yesternight's red shadows and fierce toil, of this man's death and that man's masterstroke, of years turned ages on an alien soil, of fiery horrors, whelming patient folk, of weapon craft beyond what any knew, blasting, soul witherings, hungers, eyes of death on you and from the distance from far sundered lands come men and women leaving all they had into the battlefields of scorching sands and houseless wastes and plains obscure and sad for nothing that should be a personal gain but to ensure the best should still prevail the sky was flashing with their quick disdain of danger under sea they would assail the creed they counted worse than death their crew swept the would see till nothing showed their to pursue. These in their multitude and more than these, dying and suffering, accompanied alone, their faces, voices, humours, tragedies, their will, their skill now intimately known. And those their leaders of one mind to frame vast strategies from which escape was none. And all their actions rise to future fame. Be their sweet peace, dear love, kind rain and sun, the life for which they marched and sailed and flew, reunion, restoration, freedom deep and true. But could our striving wishes bring us back those who in youth, those golden hearts and heads who fell untimely by the cratered track? The vision would excel what now it sheds of blessing on this world. How shall we then, but by their memory rule what lies before, and from their genius light such ways that men, through such conviction never labour more. Then shall the finery victory ever new sing in the lives of all that live, we have come through. <laughs>